one of the things that's so admirable and one of the reasons he's drawn so much uh, love from so many people is um, he was living a very human life as this realized being and uh, went through very real struggles. You know, I'm looking at his life because I'm working on this biography and it's important to realize the years he was here were incredibly difficult years in the history of America. You know, he was, he came in 1920, it was the roaring 20s and there was an economic boom and all this exploration going on and then the crash. And he was here through the Great Depression and they, they were having trouble paying the mortgage on Mount Washington and he was having tremendous difficulties. Everything had to change. And then World War II and he was teaching through World War II and then the post-war era before he passed. Those were incredibly difficult years, you know, that make our time, crazy as it is, it's not as difficult as going through the Depression and World War II. He kept his eye on the ball, his eye on the prize. He was teaching and writing and running an organization through thick and thin. And he always wanted to go off back to, into the Himalayas and give it all up, but he never did, you know, and he never could. He was always pulled back into, and, and so many of us have had that same feeling. It's like, I don't, who, I, I don't want to live in a world where Donald Trump's my president, I'm going off to an ashram. Well, <laughs> on the other hand, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can contribute. And so um, he's, a, in a sense, a role model for that um, yogic ideal of being in the world but not of the world and being attentive to one's inner life but doing what needs to be done in the world. He had things to say and he said them and uh, we're called, that's a good role model, I think, for us at this time.